Good morning YouTube and welcome back to 88 Racing. Today we're going to Kaziranga. Well, uh, it's kind of a two destination, I mean, uh, two purpose trip. Firstly, we are there for some fun. Obviously, Kaziranga is a, a world heritage site in Assam and which is very famous for its one horn rhinoceros. And we are going there. Uh, well, we'll do a safari and all, uh, see if we can catch something up. Uh, even if not that, uh, we'll take a good look at the park and, you know, visit some of the places. Uh, but our second purpose is that we're going to buy a bike from Kaziranga. Well, actually, the guy is not from Kaziranga. Uh, he's from Upper Assam, but he'll come down to Kaziranga and hand us over the bike over there. We've made the payment. And right now, we are on our way. For the moment, we are stopping here somewhere near Gagi Road. And we are en route to Kaziranga. So we'll go have some lunch uh, up ahead. We came on in the morning and uh, we have been driving for quite some time now. So we'll go have lunch and then we'll head to Kaziranga and then I'll show you the bike. So fortunately this time I didn't br uh, bring down the Alto, my mom's Alto. Uh, but we brought my dad's car. And I've got some guys with me as well. Here's Avi. Here is Hello. Rehan. Uh, he'll be doing most of the riding. Well. 90% of the riding will be done by him only and there's Twinkle showing her new voter ID card <laughs> finally she's become an Indian citizen and that's glory so we have just reached Kaziranga and we are entering the national park I mean the highway that goes through the national park and as you can see uh, all of a sudden now we are seeing a lot of greenery a lot of trees hills just a very very beautiful and serene environment all these big trees on the left and we'll get to see a lot more even the road is made very beautifully over here so there's nice uh, tea gardens on the right and tea gardens on the left as you can see and we're traveling through them the very feeling of traveling through these roads is beautiful. I can't express you in words unless you travel here yourself. Wow. So another part of the Buda Pahar uh, we are traveling through right now. Roads are nice, twisty. Uh, if we would have been locals over here, we would have planned a lot and a lot of photo shoots. Just look at this curve. It's a perfect left-hander for an elbow down, but then apparently we don't have our bike or the gears to ride like that. And also these roads are pretty packed with traffic. Not that much like Guwahati, but then even then. Just look at the beauty of the roads. Now we have to travel pretty slow in these areas because uh, there might be animals crossing you never know because we're traveling right through the middle of the Kaziranga National Park so there's a certain speed limit like it's 40 over there it's written on the board 40 so we have to adhere to their norms and uh, put some control on our foot and not accelerate too much but as far as I remember, there should be a viewpoint somewhere over here. So we're just waiting for that so that we can get down. Yeah, it's over there, right over there, straight. So we'll just get down there and check if we can see something. So apparently we didn't see any animals yet. Uh, we went there and checked out with our naked eyes. Of course, we don't have any binoculars. So with our naked eyes we checked if we could see something but uh, there was nothing and it's pretty late also I mean at this hour uh, it's almost 3 o'clock so at this hour normally we don't see any animals because uh, I think they come out mostly in the morning time and maybe a little till noon and any more than that and uh, most of the time you don't see anything. So we'll head to the range called Kohora because our hotels are booked over there. I mean, it's a, a lodge that we have booked. So uh, once we reach there, and I hope our friend is coming down too. So he'll be reaching any minute now. Once we do, the 
there's something on that. Oh, it's a rhino. It's a rhino. Wow, wow, wow. Wait. So there's a rhino and this is in 10x zoom right now. And it's a phone, so I don't think the zoom will be that good. But I hope you can see this. Uh, with our naked eyes, it's pretty clear. But I am not sure how much you can see this through the phone. Uh, but I've tried taking this. And it's a beautiful, beautiful rhinoceros grazing there in the grass field. So finally, I feel happy that I have seen something at least. And at least one animal will do for today. Uh, maybe tomorrow we might go on a safari where uh, we might go into the park and we might check more animals. But for now, I think this is good. So we have seen another beautiful thing. This is a swamp buffalo that's waiting right next to the road. I mean, uh, I don't know how clear you can see it from here. But then, okay. This guy is moving towards us a little. Uh, seems a little risky but he seems very confused but his horns are so damn big that I'm a little skeptical and scared of going anywhere near that thing look at this girl posing showing off too much <laughs> he doesn't seem too happy though I think because he's giving us the looks the killer looks that we've entered the wrong neighborhood Oi, don't take another step bro we're going we're going okay 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 bro we're going, we're leaving. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for your appearance. This is just to give you a perspective how close this guy is to us. I mean, this is the place, and that's just the place where he is. So it's pretty close. And I'm not going anywhere near because I might be big, but not big enough to fight a buffalo. So this is an animal corridor, it's written over there. So you're supposed to go very slow, not like that car that in over over there. You're supposed to go very slow and look for animal crossings. Because corridors are places where animals cross from one side to the other or vice versa. So uh, you're supposed to go slow. But most of the people out here are truly stupid and they don't know how to respect uh, nature and respect some rules that the park people have made. and. They end up destroying things and killing animals. So all the hit and run cases happen because of people like them. Never do this. Never do this when you are traveling through any national park. When you see an animal corridor, slow down, check for animals and then go. So we'll be reaching the Kohara range in a while. And I hope the guy has already arrived. We have entered the Gora range. This is the uh, Assam tourism site. Like there are a lot of tourist lodges and forest ivies and those kind of things. So we have booked one of the tourism lodges out here. So we gotta find it right now. Beautiful tea gardens on the right. Now finally the tea gardens have started getting greener on this side. The ones on the side of the road were all covered with dust. So they were quite dirty. So we have reached uh, the Aranya resort uh, where we are supposed to stay and I have checked into my room right now taken a bath I'm a little fresh now and I'm still waiting for the guy he's a, a little late because he came out late from his place so he might have got caught up in some traffic jam or something so uh, we're just waiting for him in the meantime I'm, I'll just show you uh, the other rooms because Twinkle is in the room taking a bath right now so I won't be able to show you my room but I'm taking you to Rehan's room and Glory's room we're on the second floor uh, it's a decent facility prices are very good so I'm taking you to Rehan's room right now but the price they're charging compared to that the rooms are very beautiful so there are two beds a very nice washroom very decent nice we got geezer and all that stuff so pretty much state of the art you can't say this resembles something of a five star uh, resort but then it's not that bad you can sit over here small balcony area this is the back part of the resort going back in that's Obi. 
and that's abhi and glory zoom so there they have taken out all the clothes and it's in a mess the room right now so they've asked me not to show it but you know me i show the raw stuff oh apparently the dth out here is not recharged abhi right here is wearing the 88 racing white fang t-shirt from the giveaway <laughs> it looks looks pretty nice though so they also have this uh beautiful balcony over here it's the same actually the three rooms are adjacent to each other so this is the first room and then the second is rehan's and the third is ours so now is the long long wait that i have to do till the guy arrives can't we avoid it because we came for that purpose only that's our main purpose to get that bike so we'll wait up for him good morning it's our second day over here so right now we have just booked our tickets for a jeep safari so these guys are coming back from deers over here very close Hi. to the road these are the deeper parts of the jungle as you can see the jungle is getting thicker more trees you can't see there's a rhino right over there very close to us he's looking at us right now beautiful beautiful rhinoceros beautiful shine on his body hey buddy what's up so that's the beautiful beautiful bike that we bought 